What's up, guys? Today we're talking all about does higher FPS frames per second actually matter? And should you invest in using that? And how much will it actually help if you have something like, you know, let's say you have a 144 hertz monitor, you want to go to 240, but you're not sure how much is actually going to help. Today we're going to go through that. So right now I'm set to 60. We're going to go through 60, 120. Uh, I'm going to basically go 60, 120. We're going to talk about 240 and then 3060. The difference between 120 and 144 is going to be very minimal. So I'm going to talk about the 120 for the console, guys. So let's talk about 60. This looks like a flip book to me. So we're going to go through each aim train. And I'm going to show you guys the score difference as I go. Oh, my God. like a flip book I have to guess where it's going so nowadays I normally play on 3060 so this is a whole lot harder <laughs> Oh yeah, that was terrible. Oh my god. I wanted to take one try at these, so I, I can't make it up. 60, everything just feels blurry and if, if things are happening quickly, like I just physically can't see anything. So 60 in current 2024, nowadays with this technology, if you're playing someone that has 120, we're gonna show you the difference. So small ball was 46 shots, 46 kills with a 68, 68% accuracy. Let's go to 120 now. All right, my computer was not liking the set to 120, so I'm doing the 144 now. So this is on 144. Feels a little, little less choppy than what I'm used to. Feels a whole lot better. Yep, definitely doing a lot better than the uh, last one. I don't think that was much of a surprise. Yeah, like All right, so this is on 144 here. versus 60. You're already seeing a 10% increase of accuracy, and I what I shot like eight more balls, so about like a 20% like faster like kill speed. And that's just set to 144 from 60. So the 120 is, is it going to be as much of a change from like 120 to 144, but it's still going to be double the frame. So you're definitely going to close the gap. So it gives you a little bit of example of like, you know, sometimes hardware does help out a little bit. All right, now we're on 240, which was what I played when I was playing in basic pro league as well as CL. A whole lot smoother just a slight little micro adjustments are a little bit more clear to take at a higher frame rate makes it a whole lot easier to hit what i'm actually trying to shoot at
getting there. That was 64 with 88% accuracy. Am I slightly warming up as I go? Somewhat, but I mean, this should show you the massive difference. This is the difference between one, one, one to one. My accuracy is higher and I'm be able to shoot a lot more than I was before. Compared to 60 FPS, I had 48, now I have 64. The massive increase from 60 to 240, I mean, is times four, right? Like I have four times as many frames as someone on 60. And there's still a lot of people, even on PC, I know on console, if you're on the older gen consoles, but even on PC, the people are running like 60 FPS monitors because they don't think that it actually matters. And they try to increase their gun skill and everything. But like at a certain point, you have to ask yourself how much matters, right? So 64 and 88. All right, and now we are set at the King Kahuna 3060. Does this, how much of a difference does it make from 240 to 3060? Well, let's find out right now. Okay, one more mag. Never doubted yep. you could do it. 66. So, the difference between 240 and 3060 isn't super impressive. I missed a couple times. So, like, you're going to see a massive jump up from going from the you know, 60 to 120 and then 120 to 240. But when you go to 240 to 3060, you're not going to notice a massive increase. I do think that it is more smooth and it really depends on my runs that I do. If I really want to get a higher score, like the highest score I've ever got on this was definitely on the 3060. And I've tried them both back and forth, to see which one was better. But honestly, the difference is fairly minimal. I like the reloads in this, just so it gives me a quick little breather as I'm going. It, like it really drives the point home game. on accuracy. So again, there's a 67. Do one more and then I'll do one more on 240. That was ugly. Yeah, 
So the difference between 240 and 360 from what you can see here is nothing substantial. I prefer the 3060 because I do feel like it is a little bit more clear. But the difference between the two, very minimal. Yeah, you don't notice it too much. So that one was a 60. So that first 241 was a really fast one. A really quick summary of the changes. I mean, 60, 60 is bare basic in an FPS game. I highly, highly, highly suggest not running 60 because you're going to see at least a 20% improvement going to 120 or 144, just off of your aim, your accuracy, everything like that. And going from 144 to 240 is still going to increase your aim. You are going to notice a difference. It's going to be more clear. It's going to be less choppy. You can make small adjustments, especially when you're recoiling full speed, because we didn't even go over that. I do feel like at the difference between like, you know, 144 and 240 or, you know, 120 and 240, it's going to be a massive difference because you are going to see a little bit of the change. It's not going to be as massive an increase as like the 20% accuracy and 20%, you know, that I said before, but you are going to see probably at least at around a five to a ten percent. And the difference between two forty and thirty sixty, I mean, it could just be placebo, but you could see a five percent increase. I've done this a few times. Like I, I did this for like an hour when I first got this. I have an Alienware monitor that's thirty sixty. I I went back and forth. And I saw that my highest scores were on thirty sixty that compared to two forty. They feel almost the same, but like I did feel like maybe like a two to three percent increase at the highest echelon of elo that can make a difference so why aren't i running uh 1440 and 3060 well it's because when you run a higher res like this with 3060 on siege it does not like it. I, it this is on a 4080 mind you it just doesn't like it and you do drop frames under what you're showing so it does become a little little bit choppy so if you do run 1440 you could try 240 and you might be able to get away with it but, you know, I want to have as many frames as possible because I feel like that I do shoot mostly better on a 3060. There's no reason not to have that advantage if I can. So that's what I like to do. But again, for those of you that are thinking about getting on the PC or you're on consoles at 60, highly, highly, highly suggest if you're going over to PC to get at least a 144. And if your console get, get a new, I mean, get a 120 FPS monitor, it'll help you out a lot. Monitor because the response rate also matters. So get a monitor, even if you're on console, get a gaming monitor. And uh, for PC, get a 144. Do not do not even bother with trying to get a 60. That's ridiculous. And if possible, save yourself the trouble. If you plan on being like a somewhat serious gamer, just get a 240. I mean, you're gonna end up, the cost of 240 versus 144 is gonna be a little bit more, but it's gonna save you time because Let's be honest, you're probably going to upgrade if you plan on getting somewhat serious. You're gonna upgrade one and you're gonna have two monitors, one you can't really do anything with. So that's my thoughts on FPS. Does FPS matter? I mean, at the end of the day, we kind of all knew this. Yes, but how high up? Again, 240 is the ideal spot that you want to have at least at. And if you go higher than that, it really is kind of like up for debate how much it actually helps. All right, guys, make sure to comment, subscribe, and leave a like down below for more. Peace out until next time.